So let's graph the linear equation y equals 3x plus 9. We'll use a table of values, and then we'll use slope-intercept form. So first off, let's do this table of values here for y equals 3x plus 9. If I put 0 in here for 3, 3 times 0, that's 0. 0 plus 9, that's 9. And I'm just using values that I think will be easy to compute and will fit on the graph paper. If I put a 1, 3 times 1, that's 3. 3 plus 9 would be outside of my graph paper. So I'm going to choose, how about negative 1. 3 times negative 1, that's negative 3 plus 9, that's 6. And I'm going to choose negative 3. How about that? So negative 3, 3 times negative 3, that's negative 9 plus 9, 0. So we'll graph these points here for y equals 3x plus 9. So the first point is x is 0, y is 9. Here's x is 0, and here's y is 9. Almost off our paper. How about x is negative 1? y is 6, right there. We could get away with two points, but I like doing three. Make sure we're correct here. x is negative 3, y is 0, right there. And you can see the line. Let's put a line through that. And then we'll put arrows to show that this goes to infinity. So you could keep putting different points in, and they'd all be on the line for y equals 3x plus 9. Let's use slope-intercept form to graph this as well. It'll be the same graph, but it's kind of a nice way to do it. So we have y equals mx plus b. b, that's the y-intercept. That's where we go through the y-axis, and that is right here's the y-axis. We go to 9, and it's right there. How about the slope, 3? Let's call that 3 over 1. It's still 3. 3 divided by 1 is 3, but now we can call it rise over run. And if we go up, we come over here and go up, we're going to have a bit of a problem because we go 1, 2, 3, and over 1. You can see it would be on our graph, but we're at a graph paper. So we're going to go in the opposite direction. We're going to go down 3, 1, 2, 3, and over 1 to the left. Let's do it again. Down 1, 2, 3, over 1 to the left. And you can see that these points, they're all on the line for y equals 3x plus 9. So slope-intercept form gives you the same answer, but it's kind of a nice way to do it. Some teachers like that. This is Dr. B graphing the linear equation y equals 3x plus 9. Thanks for watching.